Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for October 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this is a general reading. All right, so... The overall energy for you for the first half of October, we have the warrior. All right, okay, so somebody is in warrior mode. Um, I feel like facing a lot of challenges, but really pushing through whatever these challenges are. Okay, so it could be you, could be your person, could be the both of you. Um, we will get into this and, <clears throat> and see. So Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs first half of October. And I'm actually doing this spread a little bit differently than I usually do. I think I've changed my spreads several times. So this is just another new one. All right, Leo, let's see. All right, for the recent past, cards stick together. All right, we have the Ace <clears throat> of Pentacles. For your energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles and all right, the Star. For them, we have the King of Cups and the High Priestess. Coming up for you, we have Death. For them, <clears throat> the Five of Cups. And a potential outcome here is the Empress. All right, Leo. Let's see what is going on here. Um, <clears throat> this is a connection where I feel like it felt like things were on a path. It felt like maybe there was a new beginning that was beginning to um, take place or to like take form. I kind of don't see that really panning out though, especially with having death in the five of cups for the energies that are coming up for the, um, for the both of you. Um, I feel like you put in a lot of effort or you've been putting in a lot of effort or you are still putting in a lot of effort. Okay. Time is fluid. So just take these messages as they resonate. Um, I'm mostly seeing this as you having put in a lot of effort into this connection, into bringing things um, into a place of um, harmony, into, you know, trying to heal the connection, basically. And the reason why you were doing this is because you you really feel like this is the person that you've been wishing for or that you really want to be in your life. Um, I, I kind of see you not doing that anymore, coming up, all right? I feel like, and I feel like you're already kind of in this death energy. I feel like you're just kind of slowly building up to it. <laughs> Um, gradually. This person holds a lot of love for you, all right? The King of Cups. So I can see why this is something that you really, really wanted. Um, not only do they feel a lot of love for you, they, um, they, they feel this even on a very intuitive level, but I feel like they may have been holding back some of their emotions possibly from you, not really expressing themselves for whatever reason. Um, and it's going to be different for each of you. Um, with this death that you are kind of bringing, this ending that you are bringing to the table here, this person is going to be feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, a lot of um, sorrow and grief. But the potential outcome here is, I feel like this is something new being created. I feel like this is also you really standing in your empress energy, you really being... Um, fertile in the sense of being able to create, being able to do things, being able to um, produce, really being empowered. I feel like whatever this is, this is actually because this is the potential outcome, um, not just for you, but you know, for this connection. This ending is actually helping this person to reach that point as well, even if they do have to go through this um, pain first. So let's clarify. Let's clarify this warrior.
All right, we have the Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords. All right, I see. I feel like there has been a lot of conflict here between the two of you, possibly a lot of um, back and forth when it comes to um, somebody not taking action towards this, um, towards this connection. There may have been some, some deception and it doesn't necessarily have to be like um, being unfaithful or anything like that, although it definitely could be. Um, I'm just not seeing that specifically. I feel like more of somebody has been really fighting. Um, to bring this together and I feel like at the same time there has been a lot of resistance almost like it's coming in as somebody being deceptive to their own self and this is why um, it's like there's this conflict between the two of you almost like almost like a competitive energy, not exactly competitive, but like kind of fighting in opposite directions. Like one of you fighting in one direction, the other one fighting in an opposite direction. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the resistance. But what I do see here is that there is love and it's almost like, I feel like somebody, I feel like you're both actually fighting for love. It's just that one person is fighting in the wrong way, which is what is creating all of this and what is creating this this issue and I do feel like again like there was this plan or there was this um, things in the recent past did seem like you know they were about to take a new path here and then I feel like that just didn't obviously that didn't happen I feel like um, one of you was putting in more effort which would be you here with the state of Pentacles or um, <clears throat> possibly just trying too hard even if it's on an energetic level just really focusing your energy on this and then the other one, it's like, yeah, I feel like this person wants the same thing here, right? With the King of Cups, but we'll see. I'll wait until we clarify that. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles for your energy. The Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like the more that you tried for this reconciliation, the more the more action you took towards it in whatever way or the more energy you put into this, like the more the more it actually hurt, the more pain it caused you and the more it pushed this um, closer and closer to to pretty much having an ending. Um, And the reasons could be different for each of you as to why this was happening. It could be that just even on an energetic level, like this, this effort may have been a little bit, um, <clears throat> this effort may have been a little bit with like a desperateness or helplessness type of an energy attached to it. Like wanting this um, reconnection so bad that, you know, it just, energetically it just pushed this away it didn't allow for this to actually um come to be but i feel like there's there's another reason anyway there's more reason it's just that it can't happen with focusing so much on it <clears throat> like that's not what's going to resolve the issue that's not what's going to bring this together and i feel like that's what you've been learning here so let's see the star we have the knight of cups the two of swords and the knight of wands Yeah, you, you know, you, you are doing this in hopes that this person is going to um, come forward. Come forward. And maybe, maybe they did, um, but not fully. That's the thing. For some of you, maybe not at all. And then for others of you, there might have been um, some kind of some kind of a contact or maybe just some kind of a, um, okay, you know, like a reaction. But I feel like whatever that was, it was, um, it wasn't stable. It wasn't, um, something long lasting. So the message for you here is that if you, if you still feel like you are in this energy, that is not what is going to bring you what you want. There are other things that need to happen 
if this connection is to, is to work out. And granted, you know, maybe some of you don't even want this to work out anymore. Um, in that particular case, I don't feel like this would be your reading um, because we have the star here. Um, but then again, you know, some of you might already be in this death energy, which means that you are actually kind of leaving this energy in the past, okay? So this <clears throat> actually could be your reading <laughs> as well. All right, uh, let's move on. Let's see what is going on with this person. Let's see the King of Cups. Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Cups. <clears throat> Alright, this reading is reminding me a little bit of Aries. I, I kind of feel like I get that pretty often, like with Aries and Leo, um, for some reason. So yeah, definitely let me know if you're dealing with an Aries, or if you have Aries strongly in your chart. So this person, yeah, like I said, that there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotions that this person is, it holds for you. But there's also a lot of confusion about it or a lot of just kind of going back and forth almost as if this person doesn't want to be feeling what they feel but they can't help it so it's like they're trying to ignore their emotions but they're having a really hard time doing that i don't know what happened between the two of you and why this person would be trying to um ignore their emotions but yeah and I feel like because of that, even though they're very much aware of their emotions, they're holding back from actually um, expressing them to you, as I said, all right? They're, they're just not. The emotions are there, but they're like, no, I can't, I can't express them. I, I'm just not going to, I'm just going to ignore the fact that I feel like I want to express them. And I feel like there might be something else that this person is juggling here, all right, with the two of pentacles, which could be another reason why. They're holding these emotions back. So let's see the High Priestess. So I feel like they're hiding something here. The Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, this person is definitely hiding how, how upset they are, the anxiety that they feel, the stress that they feel when it comes to their feelings for you. They're holding them back because they're trying to um, maintain some sort of a stability here. There's a shift that needs to happen for them. There is a change that I feel is actually in the works, almost like their higher self is telling them to turn the wheel in this direction, that there's a major change that needs to happen, a change of direction, a change of life, a change of a situation. They know this. They're very much aware. This is somebody who is very in touch with their own feelings at this point. They know them. They're aware, not expressing them. And they're also very um, intuitive, and they know that this is the direction that they need to take. I just feel like they're avoiding it because it's causing them a lot of stress. So there's something very stressful um, attached to this to this change here. For some of them, it might even be another commitment. All right, with the four four of wands here. So I feel like this person is really um, that could be what they are juggling here. This is something that they're really being um, called on to face, and because of that, they're kind of just keeping their distance and not really expressing themselves to you. I feel like this is very overwhelming for them, whatever it is. So I feel like this warrior energy, actually, it's kind of referring to the both of you. It's it's the energy between the two of you mutually, um, not only towards each other, but also each of you separately. So let's see. Let's see this death that is coming up for you. We have the moon and the hierophant. I feel like you're bringing an ending to to the unknown here. Like you're just tired of not knowing what is going on. Possibly again, if this other person is involved in another commitment, the fact that you are um, 
being left in the dark about it, this is um, one of your your motivators to just be like, you know what, I can't, I can't do this anymore, like, and just kind of put it to rest. Not knowing whether this is going to be something that can come together in a commitment. It's like you just, you just don't want to be in the dark anymore. You don't want to not know. And so I feel like that is what is driving you to this. I feel like, again, it's not like it's 100% that it's over. Like, I don't feel like you are completely letting this go um, with that death card being clarified by the moon. But I feel like you are at least putting an end to putting in all this effort and to exerting so much energy and focus on this, which is actually going to help you. Like I said, that's leading you to being this empress, which is, you know, like the most important thing for you as your own self. Let's see the Five of Cups for them. The Seven of Wands and the Empress. All right. So yeah, you know, they're going through, they're going to go through their thing. They're going to go through some regret. They're going to go through some um, mourning here because I feel like they're going to feel you energetically pulling back and not, not putting in this effort anymore or not just not giving energy to this connection anymore in whatever way that you were. Um, I feel like th this Seven of Wands in this particular case, it's, it's that warrior. I feel like this person has to go through this phase here um, in order to then be able to fight out of it and move towards towards that Empress energy, all right, which is also um, you in this particular case. So this person is going to fully be mourning and feeling a lot of regret for what it is that has happened and for... Um, leading the situation to this to this outcome here but ultimately it's like that is leading them to want to come back to you so let's clarify the empress the queen of cups so that's love that's love there's definitely a potential here for this um connection obviously you know follow your own intuition if you feel like you're just completely done with it then yes follow that um, what I'm seeing here is that there are still emotions, all right, but in either case, either way, I'm seeing that you um, are able to fully conquer your own emotions, all right, those emotions might be there, but you are able to handle them and really be that empress, all right, standing in your power, no matter what it is that you are feeling, knowing what it is that you deserve, and being abundant in that, in your own worthiness. Alright, Leo, if this resonated, let's see your final message, and please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have the full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. I actually feel like this is um, your person's energy here, number one, um, wanting to show you their real self. All right, that is there, and I do feel like that is um, coming up here after this Five of Cups energy. And for you, yes, you know, take this as it resonates for you. The real you, not this desperate energy. That's not you. That's not Leo. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and much love.